Good afternoon, my name is Paul Norton. I'm with Linear Integrated Systems. Uh, briefly, I just wanted to give everyone an update on some of the new products and the current products we've been working on. Uh, as you know, we've been doing a lot with the JFET family. Uh, more recently, we started out with the 389 and 170. Later, we moved into the 489 and 189. Uh, more recently, we've come out with a device called the 589, which is right in between the 489 and the 389. We also have a single version of that, which is called the 250. And then, of course, we've got the LSJ 689, which turns out to be the third geometry P-channel that we have. In addition to that, we have the 289, which is the single version of that. Uh, we're going to continue to bring out additional products. Uh, one of the ones that we're now working on are voltage-controlled resistors. Uh, when you sit back and look at what Siliconics did, they had one end channel. We're looking to offer N and P channel as well as singles and duals. So what I recommend is for people to keep track of our website. One of the other areas we got that I'm sure none of you want to play with is this itty bitty thing called a DFN package. And this is a package that was used initially by TI and analog for their products in the non-magnetic realm. This package is about half the size of a SOT23 but can dissipate twice the power. So in the event you guys are looking for su super small, our complete product line is coming out with this. So we started out with the 4391s, 174, 4416s, and the pads, which are all uh, devices that you folks should be familiar with. And basically, we're gonna take the complete product line and put them in these DFN packages. The other thing is we've got this 12 item through hole sample box that we're offering. And so if people are interested in getting that, we're also send us something on the web and we'd be happy to provide these. Any questions? Thank you very much. Have a good day.